you got the win, three points and a clean sheet, and now you got to turn around a week later, play the same team, new challenge. How's it going to go? Yeah, I mean, obviously, <clears throat> it's a different field, grass field, big field, um, different conditions. You know, it's 85, 90 in Washington right now, so I think a lot of conditions have changed. Also, the players coming in, what kind of condition are they in? Uh, how much do they play on Wednesday night, uh, Thursday night between the two games? and then make decisions from there. So there's a lot more up in the air. I think last week we knew our lineup basically on Tuesday and that was the lineup we were going to go with. This week's a little bit trickier and, and we've only had one practice day. We had a regen after the game and one practice day today and travelling tomorrow, uh, very light tomorrow night and then a light practice Friday. So it's a little bit different week. So it's a bit tricky that way in terms of preparation. But um, that's good confidence in the camp, obviously, after getting three points. We needed the three points, I think, to get us going. And the fact, I don't know if the opposition's the same, has much to do with it. all the other things that are going on between the field, the travel, the players coming in. Uh, I think that's probably trickier than anything than playing the same opposition because I think both lineups will be different. Their lineup will be considerably different, I think. Uh, ours will probably be a little bit more similar to what we played at the weekend. I mean, I think it's a whole new game. I mean, they get some players back, we get some players back. I think that we just treat it like we do every game. I mean, it was good to get the three points. It was good to get the clean sheet and turn things around, but we just got to keep it going. I mean, we feel good about the shutout. We definitely do, but I think that we know that every day is a battle. We think we still have a lot to improve on. We feel, as well as I think we did at times, I think that we can also be better, and we will be better. And it's, you know, a little past midseason, but we still have a lot of learning and growing to go. And I think that we feel good at wh where we're at, but I think we're only going to improve. I mean, I think that there's going to be a couple more attacking threats. I'm sure that Yael, who's a very good midfielder, will be pulled out of the back and into the midfield again. So she's somebody to worry about. And I think overall, I think their back will probably be solidified with Krieger coming back in and maybe even Crystal Dunn if she's feeling better. It's definitely going to be different because, I mean, they've got some players, some key players that are missing. Crystal Dunn, Krieger, uh, you know, they've got a new signing coming in. Uh, Gareth Rackers will be coming in. I don't know she'll be in for this weekend, but uh, they've got a new big signing that's coming too. So I think they've got a lot of changes in there. Lineup, but number one for us was a clean sheet last week. So I think, you know, if you go off that, and that's the number one priority again, is let's get a clean sheet. And then if we get one, we get one. I mean, we had 26 shots the other day, created for probably eight guilt edge chances that we didn't put them away. But I think if we keep creating those type of chances, we'll, we'll get some goals from it. And, um, you know, I don't like playing the same opposition, but, you know, next week or the week after, we play Chicago three times in 10 days. So I guess you've got to get used to it. And you do learn. I mean, obviously, they liked a lot of long ball. They were sticking a lot of long ball in behind us. So obviously, know where their strengths are. They've got a lot of pace up front, and they're looking to go in behind us. And uh, I think you've got to, you know, one ball and close the midfield down where Laura Lindsay and, and Ava Bush and those players can deliver good balls from. You know, this is probably one of the better midfields in the league. So I think... Uh, you know, closing that midfield down will be critical, and and their back four is going to be completely different. You know, with Nikki Cross coming in, Singer coming in uh, into a lineup, uh, Krieger coming back, Crystal Dunn probably coming back. So I don't know if they'll have one player who'll be from the same lineup, and there's all sorts of trades going on and stuff. So who knows what's going to happen by the time we get there on Saturday? I think any time you play a team more than once, it's challenging. You know, you you pull out a win, you're happy about it, but. I mean, you also both learn about each other. You also adjust. So I think that we have a great coach. We're tactically prepared constantly. So I think that we'll be, I mean, there are challenges, but I think that we'll be ready to go.